am back and I just got out the shower. My hair is drying. I don't typically blow dry my hair, so I'm just gonna let it dry on its own. I don't have a class today. I just have work at about three o'clock and it is 10.30 right now. So I'm getting ready to make myself some food and I wanna show you guys my favorite ever falafel wrap that I make. It's kind of a lunch thing, but it's, it's 10.30. I mean, I'm hungry and I wanna eat it, so I'm gonna make it. I usually just get a frozen falafel. Ew. And then I just make a batch and just eat them. You can put it in a salad, you can put it in a wrap, and I find it really tasty. So let's make our wrap. getting ready for work my hair is still in the back is still pretty wet and I'll give it more time to dry I'll just do my makeup usually I would probably wake up do homework cram some stuff before work but since it's the first week of school I don't have any homework yet so I'm just gonna waste my time getting ready first things first get my hair out of my face I also realized I touched my hair way too much. I need to calm down with that. There we go. All right. And honestly, doing makeup for me is therapeutic. Like, I know I don't have to put that much makeup on, or I don't have to put makeup on, or you're just going to work, or you're just going to school. But you know what? This is therapeutic for me. Sitting down, me, myself, and I, doing my makeup, I enjoy it. And I... I really think it makes a difference, especially if going to work kind of breaks up my week for me. <clears throat> I really enjoy working. And so going to school, which is something I don't really enjoy, I do that, you know, all week. And then on Thursdays, I get to just sit down, get ready, put some nice work clothes on, and I just really like it. Honestly, I don't think sitting here and taking hours doing my makeup is technically a waste of time. I find it's really good if you have one thing that you do that you find therapeutic or you find that that helps you during the week, just keep you grounded, then do it. I find it's important, even if it's to, your, to you, you think it's so dumb, like sitting down and putting makeup on. But you know what, it, these things are what's important in life to just keep you sane. Especially when you have a busy life, to just stop and spend time with yourself is very important, I find. And if you f find something that helps you spend time with yourself and love yourself and express yourself as little or as big as it is, it is so important to do it. So, that's enough rambling. I'm just going to start getting ready. Um, I'm going to start off with this primer here first. I have pretty... I have pretty uh, dry skin, I would say. <clears throat> this over here I find is really good for dry skin. Another thing to add to what I said before, something therapeutic, is that I also want to keep it really, really real here. And if I'm having a week, then I'm having a week. No sugar coating. Obviously right now everything looks perfect because it's my first week of school and this is my second video. But I have a feeling as things usually go during the school year, 
it's a roller coaster of emotions and I really just want to take you along this roller coaster with me <laughs> but I will definitely try to keep it as real as I can here now this is the foundation I've been using I have like oh yeah this by the way showed up this morning and it was like the tiniest little thing and then I just kept trying to pop it and now it turned into this and it really hurts I kind of smile Ooh. anyways um, I don't wear foundation every day but as you can tell my face is much lighter than the rest of my body and so this foundation is just a little bit darker and helps match it I'm really terrified I'm gonna put it on and then realize in the camera I would look crazy but we'll see so yeah I don't have school today I have school every other day of the week Tuesdays and Fridays absolutely suck <laughs> I'm there like all day Monday is not bad Wednesday is not bad yesterday went well but you know they actually started teaching us stuff you know when you walk in and you just want them to do the syllabus yeah no I had a three-hour lecture a legit lecture all right all done with that now this concealer here is my favorite ever it covers everything I want to pop it so badly again yes I got it out but now it looks like this oh hell no nice this camera is honestly really good and pretty user friendly like I think I, I think I figured it out pretty well I literally just googled best vlogging camera and this is one of the ones that showed up also oh my god Kate let me powder under my eyes before it starts creasing and then I need to tell you about how difficult it is to upload a video to YouTube. Who knew? Okay, I'm about to tell this story with a whole freaking face full of powder, but whatever. <laughs> Last night, I'm pumped. I'm like, okay, this video is ready to go. Showed it to my friends, showed it to my sister. Everyone said it was good to go. Then I tried to upload it. Then I was trying to export the video. I kept exporting and then I would click on it and there was no file. And I did that maybe five times and the video was over 17 minutes long, which means it took probably an hour each time. And then, I realized, oh, I've done I've done iMovies before, but I've exported them onto a USB key. So let me export it onto a USB key. I do the whole thing. It goes on it, and then I can't open on my computer. So that again, I tried three times. I don't know why I kept trying if it didn't work the first time. And then after wasting probably six hours, I'm not even kidding. Six. I decided, wait a minute, how much uh, storage is left on the USB key? Oh yeah, there was not enough storage. That's why it wasn't working. So six hours later, I find a USB key that does have enough storage. And it worked. It was one in the morning. Okay, so now I'm just going to dust off this powder. Also. I do live with my parents and I don't really plan on telling them. I mean, I'm not lying to them because they haven't asked me, did you start a YouTube channel and start vlogging your life? But that's also because they have absolutely no idea what a vlog is. So for now, I'm just keeping this uh, on the down low because they will not understand it and I will be so embarrassed. And then we're gonna get to like Christmas dinner and they're gonna be like, look what Marco has been working on. Put it on the big screen and it's me talking about my life. 
and my grandparents would be like, what the right, Now moving on to the rest of my face. Nice. I always get mascara on my eyelid, but look at the difference. I think I'm gonna straighten my hair because what day is it? It's Thursday today. On Saturday, I have a boat cruise with uh, my work and my coworkers, and if I straighten my hair today, it'll still be good for Saturday. Just need to add a little bit of dry shampoo, and then we'll be good. So, let's go do my hair. All right, hair is done. Got the outfit on, and I'll show you a better look. It's just a, um, blazer cardigan type thing with a black shirt black pants i'll probably throw some flats on just really casual um and i i was looking i uploaded my first vlog today i mean i don't know what to expect i have nine subscribers but uh, it was pretty fun. I don't think I'm ready yet to like post it on my own personal Instagram and be like Swipe up, I posted a YouTube video. I think I'm a YouTuber. I'm not there yet, but one day I will get there. Just not right now. <laughs> so yeah, I'm about to leave for work and I think I will end this video here. I know uh, last video I said I highly doubt it will ever be this long. I highly doubt It'll ever be this long, but I guess I just like to talk a lot Because this is already pretty long, but I hope you enjoyed, you know Watching me make myself some food get ready for work and chat along the way and I will see you later